As we wrap up this year, 2023, I want to share with you a few of the greatest lessons that I have learned so far. I always love to talk about making money because I have seen my life move from having a lot to having nothing and back to having a lot. You can call it grace to grass and back to grace journey. Life is not always going to be a straight line. It goes up and sometimes it goes down. And that is why I love to talk about business finance business growth and everything that has to do with money because i believe that when you have money you will be able to live life at your own terms come to think of it have you noticed that almost all negative things every vice in life almost all of them are caused by poverty because the people or the individuals involved are poor let's call it 95 percent the more money you have the more some things and words will no longer appear in your dictionary. Some things will no longer have meaning to you. For example, tribalism, racism, religion, and the rest of them. The truth is, if you have money and you still experience racism, tribalism, and the rest of them, it simply means that you have not gotten more than enough money. Your journey is still far. So it means you need to up your game to be able to buy something you want in life and gain access to anything you need in life. I want to share with you the greatest lesson that I have learned from my past experience. There are years I have seen myself make what I will call a lot of money then, not now. And a time when I lost everything, I went back to grand zero. And now I am back on grace. The simple lesson here, ladies and gentlemen, is... Don't try to have things, but rather focus on becoming the person that automatically attracts things. This was where I made the greatest mistake of my life. At the beginning of this year, 2023, you set out a lot of goals. Yes, definitely. You wanted to build things. You wanted to buy things. You wanted to have things. You wanted to make some certain kind of money. You want to grow what you already have or what you're already doing right now. You want to build a house. You want to buy a car. You want to travel around the world. You want to do so many things that money can buy. It could be that you want to achieve some certain level of financial status. Whatever it is that you desire, they are all great. But don't spend your time trying to achieve those things. I want you to do a little bit of research. Use the remaining months of this year. We are 90 days down the end of the year. Ask yourself, is there anybody? Let me ask you, for example, who are the five people that have already achieved the level of results? Let's not move too far. Who are the three people that have achieved the level, the kind of results you want to achieve? All you need to do is to write down their names. So write down their names, and then I need you to research on them. What have they been doing? Who are they? Who did they become in order to have that kind of result? Once you do that, research on them, study their personality. What are the things that they already have, which is now your goal and your desire? You want to find out who they are so that you can focus on becoming that person, so that you can attract the things that you want. For example, let's say you want to earn $100 right now. All you need to do or ask yourself is, who do I need to become in order to earn $100? Meaning, who do you that want to earn $100 need to become in order to earn $100? Who is that person you need to become in order for people to pay you $100? Then instead of you focusing on $100, focus on becoming that person because it is in your becoming that is the starting point for you to have him. I will give you an example of who you should become. You should become a solution provider in a specific problem or a specific niche that people are willing to pay you for the solution that you provide, which is what $100. So what's the problem you can solve for people? To solve a problem for people, you have to become a solution provider. For example, if I teach people how to drive a car right now, it means that I must be a good driver, right? Someone that can drive cars very well and a good teacher of driving so that I can first take away the fear of driving from people who desire to know how to drive. 
with this, I have the capacity to take away the fear of you not having an accident or falling into a dish while learning how to drive. So I got you covered in that area. So you'll be able to drive a car. When you become someone that can inspire trust in your students and be able to show them how to drive a car, you must learn and become very good in driving yourself. So who are you becoming? Are you becoming a good driver? Are you becoming a good teacher? Because it's not everybody that can drive a car, can see or can teach people how to drive a car. I can remember back in the day when I was learning how to drive, I had to um, enroll in a, in a driving school with my sister-in-laws. So before then, my sister-in-laws, their husband, which, is, which happened to be my brothers, they tried teaching their wives how to drive. But it was a mission that was impossible because they would end up quarreling every day, every blessed day. So meaning their husbands can drive a car, but they can't teach people how to drive a car. And that was why they had to get an external tutor to teach their wife how to drive a car. So you must become a good driver and a good teacher. You must have a very good marketing skill in order for you to sell your skills, which is the solution that you offer. Once you become these three things, automatically people who want to learn how to drive will beg you to teach them. They will be willing to pay you $100 to teach them how to drive. So instead of joining everyone in setting goal for 2024, on the 1st of January in 90 days time, I would advise you to rather use the next 30 days to acquire a skill, the next 60 days to learn how to teach someone by which they can trust you to deliver or solve their problem, then the last thing is to learn how to market your skill because in need is the business of the skill. So once you learn these things, you become and nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take away your skills and your ability once you learn them. No one can take away your ability to make people trust you, that you can solve their problem and take away their fear. Nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take away your ability to create content about your skills such that people can trust you. So once you become, automatically, there will be a market waiting for you to serve them. So what you should focus on is becoming the person that automatically attracts these things to yourself. So the question is, how do you attract the things you desire to yourself? If you want to have a house, who do you have to become so that houses can come naturally to you? If you want to travel the world, who do you need to become so that international trip become natural to you? If you want a beautiful woman, who do you need to become as a man to attract a beautiful and a great woman into your life? And vice versa. Same goes for men and women. So who do you need to become to have the things you desire? then go and work on yourself to become that person. This is the major, most important lesson that I have learned over the course of this year. This is what I am working on myself every blessed day because I'm not even perfect at it yet. I get a lot of things wrong. I am improving every day to get things better at becoming the person that attracts the things I want. I hope this helped you. I hope you are going to focus the next 90 days to becoming and not just having. Trust me when I say you will win when you become the person who automatically attracts the things you want to have. I hope this has helped you. Share with me in the comment section and don't forget to follow this page for more.